Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition where I have a soda with me. Things are good. We fixed the nuclear reactor and checked the achievement progress and we still haven't gotten <laughs> uh, Liara's yet. But that's okay. We've only done... I wasn't sure... Maybe they do. I wasn't sure if like the nuclear reactor counted or if it if that's just like a subset of quests, you know? I think it's check. Oh yeah, see? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so I've, I've technically done uh, five of the Novaria ones. Well. Oh, the de I know, because it was like the, the tram decontamination thing, and I was like, you have a tramway as a decontamination thing? It kind of looks like it that way, honestly, when you get there, but... It would make sense to have, like, your, your like, passenger area. Like, you'd have to go through, like, a decontam thing on the way from the labs to, like, the living areas. That's the cafeteria, I think, anyway. Ow. up every like once like well it is maxed out when you start out small it's like oh it picks up like one or two things so you guys didn't get to see the progression of it but it gets to the point where like, you can actually like incapacitate yourself <laughs> like um the first time i used uh not the first time but like the most dramatic time i used it was actually that first area that we fought the rachni in I remember because it's like a bunch of chairs and tables and like broken walls and I like hit them with the singularity like I got like the last time I played or like the second like the two times ago um and everything in that room like ha half the things in that room started spinning around in the air and I was like oh my gosh you couldn't you couldn't even see anything <laughs> it's just there was so much stuff flying around so much debris it was amazing Maybe I should put on... I don't think my armor doesn't have two. Shield recovery, hardening. I like these. I could give myself the one that makes me more, um, less susceptible to, um, poison or whatever it is. Now entering decontamination and transit hub. You gotta get your vaccination User skits. alert. Loose contaminants in the decontamination chamber. Access to passenger tramways inadvisable. She's got her vaccinations because she's quarrying. <laughs> and they're... They don't mess around with sickness. They are locked in. I could bypass the door. It looks like the trams to the subsidiary stations are beyond it. Uh... Control group loose in the... They're in... Can't escape. Up the tunnels now. We're sorry. The leads couldn't get to the final struck. Without while you can. He killed himself because he was part of whatever happened here? He must have felt there was no hope of surviving. That killing himself would be easier. Yeah, he didn't get eaten or killed by any of those things. He, he killed himself. After everything. Online. Connected to subsidiary facilities. How may I assist you? Never mind. That's all I need right now. Very well. I, I don't know this part. I always remember this part. Like it's just really like him. He's he's sad. I feel I feel bad for him. Uh, let's just. <laughs> She's like I could bypass it because you can't. I I have once had to um. Oh great. Had to fight. I'm trying. Okay. I uh, had to fight um. That whole horde. 
but um, only like once or twice. I think I, I, I like didn't have enough Omni Gel, or uh, like I try. I think you can try to do it manually, and if you fail, you can't use it. Like you can't un like uh, go back and try to do it. Like you have to just. Deal with it. Ow, right. I was. I, I didn't think I could get up over. I thought it was stuck. Oh wait, hang on. Uh, 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 let's hang on. <laughs> oh, this isn't a dramatic enough area, really. Yeah. Uh, like that? Yeah, it's not. I think it needs to be a wider area. Well, let's see right there. Yeah, they haven't. And it spread out and caught up. Let's see. Come on, let me. Girls died. I'm sorry, I'll stop. It's not as dramatic in a hallway. <laughs> Here's another sad part. Really, I, I almost don't know if I... Well, okay, it's coming soonish. Uh, I don't know if I would prefer the, like, more dead spacey approach. Station. Destination, rift station. Where you actually, like, see, like, all the dead bodies and, like, the eviscerated limbs and stuff like that, like, laying around. Like, this facility is too clean to have just gone through something like that, you know? Now arriving at Rift Station, Binary Helix Research Facility. There would at least be blood, even if the bodies got dragged off. Liara's copying me, it's fine. The appeal of winter wears thin very quickly. Let me out. Oh, <laughs> I was already open. Let me out, I say, as I hit the invisible wall of my own making. That guy supposed to be out here? No, okay, there's somebody out here at the very end of all things. Those are the hot labs. Ta da! What exactly? So, so we made it under the trams. I don't really know why we're doing this. Oh, that's right. We are just trying to go find Matriarch Benezia. So to do that, we've been trying to, like, repair things so we can get through. We had to fix, like, the landlines and the nuclear reactor to be able to even get to the trams. To initiate the fail-safes to allow us to get through. Hi! Stand down. I'm glad you guys aren't so trigger happy that you shot me. Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. <laughs> Can those things work at trains controls? Hell if I know. I'm not assuming any goddamn thing. Look, you're human and that's enough that I won't shoot. But I'd like to know who you are. Mm. My name's Shepard. I'm a specter. Huh. I won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth. <laughs> you should. The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out and... He ain't all there anymore. But first we knew the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. You were taken by surprise and had civilians to protect. You did a good job, Captain. Yeah? Sure as hell doesn't feel like it. I bet. The board sent in a sorry to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. Benezia. Is she still over there? I don't know. I don't see what one person could do. Ah! A matriarch has the skill to keep herself alive for a long time. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. 
and take you down to the hot labs. Oh, if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. Tell me about Rift Station. He's just gonna... I can't talk about everything. What do you need to know? He's just he's just gonna let me waltz down there? Is that is that a thing you could just do? Tell me about the defenses here. Secure enough that you shouldn't poke in corners. I was just impressed with your operation. Being able to weather a week of assaults is no mean feat. Only the best get assigned to high-security facilities like this. What impresses me most is the turrets, alarms, and cameras. They're all routed through a central location out by the quarantine labs. One guy can lock down the whole facility. The security hub's the last logical fallback, and we'd have cover from the turrets all the way. Cover from the turrets. Cover from the turrets. Oh my. What kind of research is done here? Beats me. I'm not supposed to know. So long as people don't start dying, it's not my problem. Well, now it is apparently your problem because people are dying. What can you tell me about the aliens? Ask Dr. Olar. He's the only one who made it out of the hot labs. He's the only Volus left in here. I need to know more about the situation in the hot labs. The facility's off the network. The only way to find out would be to send scouts down the elevator, and I won't send my people to their death. Did the aliens come from inside the facility, or did they attack from the outside? You want my personal opinion? Labs like that exist to do stupid crap that gets people killed. <laughs> yeah, but you're the one standing, you're getting paid. <laughs> Tell me about the structure of the hot labs. It's built into one of the glaciers further down the mountain. Real old, thick, stable one. Something goes wrong, they heat it up and sink it into the ice. Normally, the crew gets to the labs using a tram from Central Station. We've got an elevator that connects directly, but it's for emergency use only. Uh, listen, I'm not sending my people down there. It's too dangerous. You understand? Uh, he already said that out loud, so I'm not sure why he's whispering it to me. How are your people holding up? We weren't expecting the initial wave. We made it inside. We lost some good people. Those of us left are short-handed. We've kept order by long shifts and stems. I don't like it, but I don't see an alternative. Right, like a rock and a hard place, you know? Not much you can do. You're certain the matriarch is still in the hot labs? She hasn't come back here. You came through Central Station, so she ain't there. <laughs> I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. Hell, man the perimeter. Ah, at least turn me around. Stand there that whole time. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna freaking firing squad you myself. Thanks for the help. Every few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. Look at his suit's glowing. They always attack here. It's an obvious kill zone. Their only other option is over the mountain and down through the ducks, and they freeze like everyone else. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. Yeah, that's important. <laughs> I think technically I can just like go now. I'd kill for a P204. Just hold down the trigger and zap. <laughs> Hallway full of flash boiled bugs. <laughs> <laughs> uh like I wanna go look. I think I could just go down to the labs now is that a is that a thing really i thought there was like for some reason it's actually like harder to get out there to get down there the sooner we are off this frozen world the better no reason Where did they come from? Were they in the lab? I never went in the high security areas. You're not gonna go to the hot labs, are you? Why would you assume that, of all things? Uncertain. I welcome you. Cautiously, I am curious to know what you're doing here. Well, I came for Benezia, but I'm also here to help. I was sent here to find an Asari matriarch. 
surprised. One has visited recently. Fortunately. <laughs> There are rumors she has gone to the I mean, I was expressing with for now mm. with forced with cheer. forced cheer. I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. I He's like furtively or she I actually don't know. They're um they're like furtively I'm like, "Ah, well, I darn well, I've been expressly told that she's down there, <laughs> so she better be down there." This doesn't seem like the time for commerce. With nervous <laughs> I have nothing else to do. Why not continue to run my kiosk? Let's have a look. Also, the reason... Yeah. Most of my stock is being appropriated by Captain Ventralis. Are you good? Frick. I already have one of those. Ooh. And the Metagel upgrade. That'll be nice. So that's what I'm Okay. I need to sell. Anything less than five, which might get me rid get rid of me some armors on accident, but I think I've equipped everybody except no, I've equipped everybody. I brought Ashley out recently. I brought Caden, Garrus. Everybody should have, like, at least, at the very least, decent stuff, so I shouldn't be too concerned. I have nearly reached my monetary limit. You only have a million dollars. A million credits, rather. And only 999, um... What do you call it? Uh... Omni... Jail. What? No! Ah. Sorry. I haven't had much sleep since the attack. Is there something you need? I didn't mean to, uh... To pry. How are you holding up? It would be petty to complain after showering off a co-worker's brain. None of us have had enough sleep since the attack. Of course, not all of us have guns. Yeah, it's probably for the best, truly. Uh, a bunch of frightened people with guns is, uh, not, not good. What do you do here? I'm a toxicologist. I can't talk about my work. Not that I'm doing anything since the accident. There was an accident here? I can't talk about what happened. Not here. Too public. Talk to Dr. Cohen in the medical ward. He was the project lead. Mm. What sort of work do you do here? I can't say. I signed a non-disclosure agreement. If we survive, I'd like to keep my job. The location is terrible, but the pay is better than any other commercial lab. You're not happy on Peak 15? The outside world doesn't exist here. Just walls of ice and rock. There's only the work, the discovery. It's easy to forget why science is guided by ethics. For that now. Yeah, no, if you put yourself in isolation from any, like, uh, career, like, I don't know, or like, uh, what, do you, what would you say, like, any of the sciences or anything, like, any sort of, like, lifelong endeavor, if you put yourself into isolation, it's easy to forget some of the basic principles. <laughs> uh, I'm looking for an Asari. Asari? Well, there's Dr. Rialis over there. There's also our guest, Lady Benezia. Captain Ventralis might know where she is. What do you know about the hot labs? Nothing. I didn't work there. As far as I know, Han Olar was the only survivor. Is he in the medical ward? No, he's staying in the science team's quarters. Be gentle with him. He had a trying experience. I'll talk to you later. This guy is nice. Remember to report any suspicious noises. This guy is very nice. Honestly. Treats, pr treats Han Olar better than others do, anyway. What? 
You seem less upset about this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. Mm. You're a member of the science teams. Recently transferred, yes. <coughs> what do you do here? Molecular genetics. I specialize in biotic enhanced allele specific hybridization. Yeah, that's a bit technical for me. I am very good at tracking inherited variations in genetic sequences. I'm sure you would find it quite dull. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I can shoot things real good, and I have, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very, you actually have to be very intelligent to be like any sort of command, like, like a true commanding officer. You have to be able to like react on the fly, right? So, like come up with strategies and tactics. Uh... Do you know Matriarch Benezia? Why ask me and not your friend? Because you're here! Because I do not know anything about the Matriarch. Then why would I? Because you're here! Tell me about yourself. I am Alestia Alice from the University of Arraeus. Is there anything in particular you want to know, or should I just spout random facts? Did I interrupt something? <sighs> I was meditating. I suppose to a species as brash as yours, it would appear to be inattention. Listen, lady. Sorry, I'll leave. Then you I'll return to my meditation. You had a name, so you are obviously somebody I must talk to. Quarantine and barracks. What order do I want to do this in? Is it the science? It's, uh, sleeping quarters. That one. Is restricted the medical base. What are the medical papers? Hang on. Ah, uh, why is there? I know you'd have a cure by now. Uh, me? Or you're probably somebody who's dead. What? What? What do you want? I didn't mean to bother you. No, you did nothing wrong. I'm just distracted. What happened to these people? They're suffering from a toxin. It was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the but company. But you want to. But you're going to, because I might be able to help. I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. No, they don't. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. We reactivated her on our way through Central Station. That was you? I'm grateful. Until she came online, the automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. I understand your caution, but I need details. What you say won't go beyond these walls. It's a bioweapon, based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature. Oh, the Thorian! There's no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. Thoros B is highly infectious, but can't pass from one person to another, like a bio-war attack without a pandemic spread. Uh -huh. Do you imagine that distinction yeah. makes this <laughs> Militaries, governments, they'll get this kind of weapon one way or another, and we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. Yeah, that's because uh, you just are trying to, like, build walls that don't actually exist. Like, if you can build something like that that does restrict itself like that, then somebody can build it but that doesn't restrict itself like that, you know? Like, that's just the way it is. You're building biological weapons. And this one was specifically designed to, to kill the Thorian. Oh, but now they're making it work on other people. I wonder if this is the... If this actually... I don't know if I've... If this is confirmed or not, but is this tied into the um, the like pandemic-y thing that's happening in Mass Effect Two that affects everybody except humans? Um, and it's like it's a biological attack that was done to make humans look guilty. Um, I can't remember. Was it like I think it was like the Batarians that initiated it? I don't know. But um, or no, it was the it was the collectors. But um through the vegetarians potentially um but i wonder if this is related to that uh because that's that's when you get warden as a companion there's a reason the citadel conventions forbid bioweapons doctor i didn't expect you'd understand my notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs captain ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination 
Is he right to keep people out? No, the toxin has a brief period of viability. After that, it breaks down into simple protein chains. But he won't listen to me. Well, he's got other things to worry about. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. How's the science team holding up? Better than Ventralos' guards. They've been on alert since the first attack. I've been administering stims at their request. But every species needs to sleep. They're getting twitchy, irrational. Are you the doctor here? I'm a doctor, but not the doctor. <laughs> My specialty is microbiology, not first aid. We had a medic, Dr. Salah, but he's... We lost him. The automatics can handle basic treatment. Mira runs them. Talk to you later. That's probably who he's I talking hope you about. Can do something. It was like you would have come up with something by now, you know. I'm wearing an environmental suit and I'm still freezing. That's not good. We should get your suit checked out. Let's see. This is the Yeah, if you go in there, everybody starts attacking you. So I don't want to do that. La la la! La la la! <laughs> Just kind of spam it. Hello, I didn't mean to leave you out. Okay, here's the other one. So let's go. Is this Olar? Meep, meep. Oh, Captain Controls, yeah. I need to talk to him. But first, I need to go. Talk to Han Olar. I think, anyway. I feel I thought before it was hard, like you couldn't get into the hot lab. But there was like there was like that's there's a reason like there's these extra quests going on in the background is that like they're supposed to help you get a like an access card of some sort. Um let's talk to Han Olar in the next episode. Uh he, he deserves his own his own time to say his piece so um thank you all so much for watching this is the part of the video where i say thank you to my patrons i've recorded like seven videos today so i feel like i just keep saying thank you and over and over again but truly from the bottom of my heart thank you to scalamonger who is a sapling patron over on patreon and whom i appreciate very much for your donation and i want to thank reese galita as well who's also a sapling patron over on patreon which is very obvious i don't know why i keep saying that part but yes, thank you so much, Reese. I appreciate you and your donation. <laughs> it's very helpful. Thank you. And an extra special thank you to Christopher, who is a tree tier patron and who is super great. <laughs> it's just the greatest, tr truly. <laughs> Whatever kind of tree you want to be in the next life, I hope you become that. Anyway, <laughs> um, uh, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you. And I hope to see you in the next one.